Hey guys, Zot here with another First Look Shadowlands video. With the release of most expansions, Blizzard throws a nod to us PvP players with the addition of a new arena map. Our latest expansion Battle for Azeroth brought us three new additions, Hook Point, Mungambala and the latest The Robodrome. Well, Shadowlands is going to be no exception. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a first look at the new arena map Bastion. This new arena map takes place in the home of the Kyrians, and is set to be one of the most appealing maps on the eye. Players will find themselves spawn in along with their team on a platform floating high up in the air, before then being slowly floated down to the opposite end of your opponent's side. The map itself is essentially a Negrand meets Tolveron in terms of design, an octagon map base with four pillars. The pillars, however, unlike Negrand, are positioned further towards the center. This gives you room both sides of the pillar to position or to play around. As for the size of these pillars, they are a lot smaller than that of the ones on the Grand Arena and square in shape. The furthest point from a pillar is where you slow fall in, and will most likely be the best place for casters to position, although it is still in range of a pillar. The Bastion Arena map is looking to flavour casters, but only slightly. Having small pillars and such a large surface area gives you a lot of open space. With that in mind though, unlike Tolviron, there are not really any places you can stand to make a healer unable to have a pillar. So what is it we look for in an arena map? I think what we look for mainly is balance. We don't want it to favour any comp style specifically. For example, we all know Tolviron Arena heavily favours caster cleaves. This isn't just because of its size, but the pillar placement. This means there are certain areas you can stand as a caster to leave the enemy without a pillar, whereas maps like Blackrock Hold heavily favour that of a melee cleave. This is due to the pillar and line of sight placement. Wherever you stand on Blackrock Hold as a caster, there is always line of sight in range for a healer to stand or a melee to easily retreat to. The more recent maps, especially in Battle for Azeroth, have all had their imbalances. Hook Point is insanely small and obviously favours melees. Mugambala is one of those maps that I think nobody enjoys. Two-tiered with a huge thick pillar in the middle can result in teams being forced to play at certain areas of the map to cater to their composition. Robodrome on the other hand seems to be a little more popular and catering to both melee and caster cleaves despite obviously still having its flaws. Overall, I'm relatively impressed with the Bastion Arena map, and it seems to be getting good feedback from the PvPers who have played on it. After all, it's essentially just in the Grand Arena with the pillars smaller and more central. And to clear up any misconceptions, no, you cannot leave or get back to the starting zone as a Demon Hunter. And no, you cannot fall off the edge either. Although I do kind of miss Arena maps having their environmental effects, such as Ring of Valor. But with WoW heading towards a more competitive approach, I feel well-rounded and more balanced maps exactly like Bastion is what we need more of. So what do you guys think? Does this map look good and should Priest be allowed to mind control you off the edge or not? Let us know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching this first look video and be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for more up-to-date videos for BFA and Shadowlands going forward.